any sort of pseudonyms, yeah. Spanish names that you were thinking of at the beginning, or is it going to be Gerard Way? Well, all the way? this is this is probably the first time. This is probably the first time I'm talking about it. So when it started, I'd, I I wanted it to be a three piece. It was, I was going to start a new band. Mm -hmm. I wanted it to be um, a three piece kind of fuzz rock band that was very kind of uh, just noisy and. Um, I think if I had put put the record out at that time, it would have been that, and we would have probably been playing together right away. Uh -huh. And it was called, and the record label hated this name for it too. Um, it was called the Baby Animal Hospital, <laughs> because <laughs> quite like it. I, I like it too, and it was called that because I wanted something uh, sound loud, and I was like, that sounds really loud to me, and it may I don't know if it'll offend people. A lot of people were worried that. It was gonna offend people. I was like, "There's nothing offensive about it. It's a it's a hospital for small animals. Yeah, like, it's a beautiful thing. <laughs> it's a beautiful thing." And so, but then, you know, I really started to then take ownership over, I guess, myself and what it is I do, mm -hmm. and getting confidence as a songwriter. Mm -hmm. And um, I'm I'm lucky as a front person, or just even what I'm doing now, where I can play personas, and I like that stuff, and I like playing around with it. And that's one of the things I noticed about your very first video too that I liked. It looked like a persona mm -hmm. that you had created. It was so vastly different. And um, uh, so the songs, they got more ambitious. Everything started getting more ambitious. Next thing you know, I'm putting like saxophones on things. So it did, it did feel like a Gerard Way record. It, did, it mm -hmm. didn't feel like the Baby Animal Hospital anymore. Sure, which, yeah, yeah, yeah. Which might be fun one day to do. Yeah, <laughs> but, it's, but it is that thing, it's kind of like, I guess you have to go through that at the beginning, and I mean, I, I kind of did. I didn't want to. I wasn't sure if I wanted to be Gaz Coombs at, at, at the very start, and I had kind of all sorts of little things I was playing around with. And I think at one point I kind of, I came up with Straw Dog. I wanted something dog. I kind of liked that right. sort of, and and I was kind of playing around with it and and talking to the label a bit and a few other friends, and, and I kind of got a really mixed response from it. But I guess the sort of the overriding kind of response that I got was that was. You know, I don't know. This is your music. Just kind of, right. Just kind of be you. you know? Right. Or what's wrong with what's wrong with being gas? You know, gas coops. What's wrong with that? Right. You know? Right. Right. And I guess I sort of thought, yeah, fuck it. I mean, you know, I just, uh, you know, I just kind of do it from the heart, you know. And, and um, you know, I, I suppose also it's sort of, you know, you know, people knew my name as well. You know, there's right. elements of it that would probably be you know, uh, helpful at that, the early stages of yeah. a new project and stuff. Right. But I kind of didn't mind that as well. I didn't mind it if people didn't kind of put two and two together at all. And, yeah. Uh, if I had a pseudonym or something. But yeah, I guess through through time and, and discussing it, it was just that sort of, you know, don't mess around with it too much. Unless, right. it, unless it's something really killer and, and maybe the ideas I had weren't, weren't strong enough. So, you know, but yeah, I felt I felt good when it when I decided to go for it. When you decided, right? Just my name. Here's a question about it too. I was wondering, so when the when your when your band first split and you decided you were going to keep making music, obviously, was there a period where you felt like because I went through this, where you felt like you were trying to hide, and maybe that's why, or uh, maybe hiding's the wrong word. I don't know, like kind of go into the woods in a weird way and and uh, change your identity or who you were. And in, in, I, I found that when my cam broke, that's why I wanted to start this weird fuzz rock band and get mm. in a van and tour is because I was trying to actually change who I was completely yeah. and run away from it, you know? Yeah, no, definitely. I mean, I think that was a big part of, of the beginning. I, I guess I didn't know how to sort of, how to translate that right, right. at the start, how to translate that kind of move away from what I'd done before and, right. I, and like I said earlier I guess Supergrass was so in, it was such a sort of strong ingrained sort of character mm -hmm. um, <clears throat> that I knew that I had to sort of make various moves away and, mm -hmm. and you know not only musically but yeah I guess I kind of wanted to sort of uh, do something you know really different and I guess getting a kind of an alternative name or something and I don't know, I mean, I guess because Supergrass were quite kind of friendly as well at times. Yeah, yeah. And I didn't want to be so friendly. Right, okay, yeah. I just wanted to sort of be a bit more like, you know, mysterious and... Right. And kind of not play into that kind of character. Yeah, well that um, worked. And also sure. I guess I'm sort of, you know, I'm you know, kind of older as well. I'm, I'm not kind of 17 anymore and, and the kind of cheeky, chappy stuff. I mean, I, you know, I haven't really changed in terms of my sense of humour or, or what, I, what kind of lights my candle but mm -hmm. 
I am older and, and it's kind of, a, it's a different thing, it's a different beast. Yeah, yeah. So, um, yeah. but it took me a bit of time and I, I think actually, then I realised actually when I started writing for the first record, it was all happening in the music. It was mm -hmm. all, you know, I was creating that distance in the music. Right. And in a delivery of, of the, 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 the tracks, you know, and, um, and, and some of the vocals and, and, you know, the way I was approaching some of the beats. Mm -hmm. So, uh, and even, even visually with the, the Hot Fruit video, yeah, like that first yeah. one, I knew that I worked with these directors and we knew that we wanted something kind of, almost kind of, sort of slightly psychedelic and sort of almost sci-fi. Right. In a weird way. Um, right. And, and that, that kind of pushed it further away as well, so. Yeah. But they all kind of happen naturally. In the yeah, end, naturally, right? right? Yeah. What about any My, My Chemical Romance songs in your solo set? Right. Anything happening there? Uh, no. It was, uh, it was, it was hard at first because, well, you know, uh, you only, at first you only have like one album, and that album yeah. isn't out even, yeah. and you're about to play some shows, and you know, you know people know you for a certain thing, and you want, you know, ultimately as performers we want to make people happy, mm -hmm. and we want them to have a great time and enjoy themselves. And so I was thinking to myself, like, well, I'm like, maybe I have to play some MCR songs. And then what I, I guess the conclusion I came to though was that I didn't want to, and I wouldn't mm -hmm. want anybody, you know, I didn't think anybody wanted to watch somebody do something they didn't want to do. Yeah, yeah. And I felt like... That's really key, I think. Yeah, yeah. And I felt like the audience would understand that and also, like, also understand that if I, if I wanted to do those songs, I would be doing them with the band. Mm -hmm. Like, that, that was how, like, I loved the band I was in so much that I'd want to do those songs with them. Yeah. And I don't want to do that, so... Yeah. Um, so, it, it, is, is this unsaid understanding it feels between the audience and I, I have yet to have an issue where somebody felt unsatisfied or at least said to me, I don't hear anybody yelling for those songs. Yeah. And, it's, and it's a nice feeling. It, if, they, if they would, it doesn't bother me either. Yeah, yeah, you know? totally. I know I, I've found the same thing with the, with the audience, you know, not, not kind of calling out for all right or called by the fuzz and stuff, right. which is really cool. Right. You know, I think, I think there was a few, t few points early on where, you know, it, I, uh, I knew that I wasn't going to perform the tracks, any, any Supergrass songs like I had. Right. All right, man. Thanks so that much. That was really good. Yeah. 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 No, it's great to have a chat. Mm -hmm. It was. And I hope it goes well tonight as well. Oh, thank you so much. You can have so a full, full house down there. But I think they'll, all be going, they'll all be going mental. Yeah. Oh. Great. Nice. Man. Great stuff.